What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about some more information that's come out about Destiny 2. Now this is going to be some leaked information, so kind of take it with a grain of salt. But uh, the person that has been releasing these leaks is usually pretty much spot on uh, with their leaks. So we will see some type of, you know, or, or something kind of like what they're talking about in the game uh, when it is released. And this is going to be some more uh, leaks regarding the Into the Light update. Now we've already talked about a few of these in a past video. But there's been some more information talking about what we can expect kind of leading us from Into the Light to the final shape or to the release of the final shape. Now the Into the Light update should release sometime in April. We do not have a specific date just yet. But the information is something that I think a lot of people will be excited to hear. It looks like there will be missions taking place uh, that kind of lead us each week you know, from the release of the Into the Light update to the final shape. And these missions will take place on old planets and it could feature a different planet each week. Now, this is something that sounds great, uh, and I'm, I'm sure to a lot of players, especially if you're someone that did not play Destiny 2 from the start. There's a lot of planets that were in the game then that are not available now. I'm assuming, and it's kind of uh, it's kind of sad to see, but I'm, I'm assuming they're probably going to do it like they did the Into the Deep you know, kind of season, uh, where, uh, or the Season of the Deep, where you had the option to you know go back to titan as they said but you did it all from the helm titan was not an actual planet again that you could travel to from your destinations inside of destiny 2 on that destination map you had to go to the helm and that took you to titan and i'm i would assume or i would bet that's the way they're going to do uh these missions um it would be nice to have all the planets back uh in, in destiny 2 that we've had you know from kind of the original game when it first came out but all those planets are not available those have kind of been sunset like some of the other stuff in the game and it is disappointing especially for players that like i said that did not get to experience those planets when the game was first released but it looks like there will be missions that will take place on these planets and it's going to be a different planet each week and assuming it's going to be a different planet each week it's kind of why i would think that they're going to probably do it kind of like they did like I said, the helm where you travel to these planets from you know, a certain destination where you start the mission. It says the old planet weapons will be reused with new perks. Um, now, there's not an official word on which weapons it will be. If it will be all of the weapons available from that planet, a lot of the weapons that have been sunset, or if it's going to be a certain weapon or one or two weapons each week with these missions. It's kind of tied to the mission that came from that planet at the time. Of course, we do know, and this is what we talked about in the previous video, that the Recluse and Hammerhead will be returning to the game along with some of their ornaments to the Eververse store. So this all kind of went together now. We kind of understand why the Recluse and Hammerhead are coming back to the game because it looks like they're going to be the, you know, kind of two featured weapons maybe from, you know, the planet that they came from originally. But I am interested to see if old planet weapons will be reused every week with the new perks uh that would be something i think a lot of people would like to see even though these are some of the older weapons if you're a destiny 2 veteran you've played since the game released you've had these weapons in the past but i know for a lot of new players they never got to experience these weapons at all and like i said they never really got to experience these planets and even if we're not traveling to these planets uh you know from your destination tab even if it's gonna even if it's gonna be inside of a mission it's still gonna be uh something for a lot of the new players that they've never seen before and a lot of these weapons that they're, uh, like I said, the Recluse and Hammerhead are awesome weapons. But if we're going to bring back some of the other weapons as well from the planets, uh, it's going to be a breath of fresh air for even veteran players and brand new players alike to have, you know, new areas to travel to and new weapons to use as well. Leave me a comment with your thoughts. Let me know what you think. Uh, is this something that is kind of uh, something you would like to see in the game? Are you glad that they're doing this? I think we're going to see some form of this probably. Like I said, it is a leak, so... Just remember that. But it seems like everything is kind of lining up now of, of what we can expect to see in Destiny 2 from Into the Light leading up to the release of the final shape. Like I said, leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.